Can you cover a generator while it running? Unfortunately, there are a lot of misconceptions about generators out there these days. Many people don't know how to use them safely, and there are a lot of urban myths too. This can lead to many injuries and even fires. Can you cover a generator while it running? When you have a generator, you'll want to make sure that you read the manual and familiarize yourself with the different parts. If you do this, then you can go a long way toward preventing a lot of accidents. If your power goes out during a storm, you have to find shelter from the rain. However, what if you don't have electricity? What do you do then? The answer is simple. You use generators? To run a generator, you need fuel and a way to get that fuel into the generator. In this article, we will discuss how to cover a generator while it runs. Can you cover a portable generator? Yes, you can cover a portable generator with airtight wrapping to minimize the amount of moisture in the environment when it is turned off. This will help protect your engine from rusting and other issues that result from exposure to oxygen permeating spaces. You must also make sure there is not any excess humidity nearby as well. However, in contrast, it is another thing entirely to cover a portable generator when it is running. The following are some of the possible consequences and why they might happen. What happens if you cover a generator while it is running? When a generator is running, it's not a good idea to cover it. Generator covers are built to cover your generator to protect it from the outside environment. You should never operate a generator that has a cover on it. This could possibly cause the generator to overheat. If it covers the cooling vents, it could potentially cause the generator to explode. Fire issue. While they can be a lifesaver, it's not advisable to cover a generator whilst it is in operation. This is a dangerous practice because it could cause a fire. A possible solution to this problem is to spray a clear coat on the sides of the generator so that it will be able to withstand the heat from the engine. However, this may not be the best option because the generator will now be unable to absorb any of the sun's energy from the sun. So, as a better option, it would be a good decision to move the generator out of the direct sunlight. Airflow issue. If you do cover the generator, then airflow can be restricted. If less airflow is to be maintained in the generator, then this can cause overheating issues. It doesn't matter whether the generator is covered or not, but it's important to keep in mind that a cover can be a danger if it is kept during operation. Electrocution risk. The electrocution risk is the main reason to cover a generator when it's in use. In fact, generators should always be covered to prevent accidental electrocution. If you want your generator protected from rain and snow, then there are several ways for you do so safely. 1. Use an indoor storm shelter slash basement with all-weather electrical equipment. 2. Cover the outside of your electric utility box. 3. Build a metal shed around your outdoor or indoor power source conclusively. It is essential to use caution when handling generators. Generation of power is not affected by the strong winds, thus, it does not cause storms to increase in intensity. What type of cover we can use for our generator? If you do use a generator cover, make sure that the material is not too thick. Also, try to position it as far from the engine as possible so as to facilitate airflow and avoid overheating of both sides. This also applies to portable generators that are used around the site for power couples. Small commercial or industrial generator will have their individual tank, which is at least 30 liters volume, to collect any fuel spillages after operation of the generator. If this would happen in your project then it may cause a serious problem when you are in the middle of the project. A metal or plastic cover should be provided so that there is enough airflow for the generator to stay cool. These covers also serve to protect the generator from harsh weather and small insects that can fly into or become enclosed under them. Generators Canopies Generators Canopies, 
while they do a good job at providing protection from the elements can be problematic due to their limited size. They are not suitable for large generators like the ones used in power plants and manufacturing facilities. However, whenever possible it is recommended that you use them as you can find many benefits associated with their use, particularly when it's raining or windy outside. Can you store your generator in a wooden shed? Whenever you decide to purchase a generator, it is essential for them to be stored in an area away from the sun. This helps reduce overheating of all components that operate when in direct sunlight, especially if your generator produces AC power or is used in combination with solar power. Electrical enclosures are outfitted to fit the power generator and contain the enclosure. It is often used to store gas or oil generators that run on gasoline, diesel or natural gas. The enclosure provides heat for storing fuel, protection from weather and predators as well as a place where maintenance work can be done during off-peak hours when electricity isn't available. Can you store your generator in a garage? Domestic generators produce carbon monoxide, CO, which is a lethal gas and the exhaust of the generator contains the same deadly gases as other gasoline-powered cars. The garage can be a dangerous place to use a generator because there are many things that may cause an accident such as water in the garage floor or ceiling, lack of ventilation and oxygenated airflow etc. It is advised not to store the generator inside the garage. What are some safety tips when operating a generator while it is covered? An operating generator shouldn't be kept near your sleeping area at night because several things can go wrong during the process of running that generator. Refueling process. The refueling process should be done either before or after the generator is started. The refueling time should not take long because it will affect the overall performance of the unit and its durability as well as cause other damages to the machine which can lead to failure. Freezing temperature. Some RV owners claim that they have to run their generator for a long time when the outside temperature is below freezing. However, there are also other RV users who say generators can be used in cold slash wet weather much more efficiently by running it at lower speeds and not overstressing the engine itself during its operation. Electric panel. The electric panel features a universal electrical plug and receptacles which make it easy to connect your accessory devices to the Generator S electric panel. It is convenient for all users as well as those who want to install an electric panel at their existing home. However, this may increase the power, watt, usage which could trigger utility billing problems. The best way for you to determine whether it is worth installing an electric panel or not is by measuring and monitoring your home's electrical consumption so that you can find out if making a purchase decision will be beneficial to your home. AGSI is an electrical safety device that will shut off the circuit if it detects excessive current flow. If you do not have AGSI outlets, then there is a possibility of electrocution or fire hazard due to the excess current flowing into the system through blown fuses and hot spots. Tarp Tarp will protect the generator from rain, wind and dust. It is good for covering a portable generator while it is being used. Tarp can be easily removed so that the electrical panel of the engine can get sufficient air circulation without getting wet by water or ice formation inside the tarp cover. You should cover the generator when it is not in use to make sure that no moisture would get inside. Cover Portable generator cover is also called generator tents. They are designed to protect generators from adverse weather. These products work by closing off openings that can let water or wind into a generator making it hard for them to operate properly. These products come in both permanent and temporary versions depending on your needs. Generators generate heat which makes these Amazon cover necessary during cold weather. Can you cover a generator while it running? Yes, the tent canopy will keep your rig stable, and prevent damage to your expensive machine or other items on having in storage. 
The Gen cabin provides enough ventilation so that the interior of the vehicle is not overly warm which helps prevent condensation from building up inside of any equipment stored during winter months. If there are winds over 70 miles per hour you should be safe even if staying under. The canopy with an attached tarp roof covering all have. To make the most out of your generator, you will need to cover it with a protective shield. The shielding keeps cold air from entering and prevents noise pollution for this important tool that is used in case of a power outage. To prevent any damage, you can also install some cooling fans on top or sides, they are designed especially for covering generators.